What's up, Ricers? Chad B here, coming to you from the Prakanong district of Bangkok. But today we are taking the journey north of the city to go to Impact Arena. Impact is one of Thailand's most modern, largest convention halls, and today it is host to the Motor Show. Thailand's Motor Show is very similar to the auto shows in America, where all the OEM manufacturers bring out their nicest cars that are available to sell to the public. But there are two major differences. One, like everything in Thailand, they have modified cars. There's entire sections with nothing but badass modified cars. And number two, the price of cars here in Thailand is absolutely ridiculous. Here in Thailand, they have a 300% import duty tax on all vehicles that are imported into the country. So cars that are priced at $100,000 in America sometimes can be $250,000, $300,000, even $350,000. So this is not where we're going. This is the Victory Monument area of Bangkok. Um, this is not our destination today, but I had to stop and get off and check it out because it's pretty epic. Check out this, basically it's a giant roundabout. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, moving on. Headed back to Impact Arena for the motor show. I made it as far as I could on the BTS SkyTrain system, so now I have to get a taxi, and boy, did I pick an interesting one. You have, you have many money. You are very rich. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Is that you? Yes. Oh, that's you? You are rich and famous. Wait, this is free ride? Yes. I, I am pregnant woman. Okay, thank you. Well, that was an interesting ride. That's the thing about Bangkok. You never know how your day's gonna go. You might end up getting in a taxi with that guy and he just make your day. But anyway, we have arrived to Impact Arena, so it's time to go check out the Motor Show. As soon as I walked in the door, the first thing I saw was all the modified cars. So let's get right to the cool shit. It's one thing about Thai people. They love putting a ridiculous amount of turbos on anything that they can. Does it make sense? I. I don't know. Is it cool as fuck? Yes. While we just got the new Ford Ranger in America, maybe a year ago, these guys have had the Ford Ranger here for years but they do have what we do not have the ford ranger raptor which ford bring that shit to america i would totally daily drive a ranger raptor look at these things they're sick i found the drift cars believe it or not this hrv this honda hrv is 2jz swap I saw it at a drift event in Pattaya, Thailand earlier this year, and they were killing it. It's ridiculous. Yeah. 
This R33 GTR is owned by a friend of mine here in Thailand. He's a D1 Japanese pro drifter. And believe it or not, he actually has a Lexus V8 1UZ twin turbo built motor and 800 horsepower. When's the last time you've said, damn, that is a sick Azuzu? I say it all the time here in Thailand, but if you're from America, you probably have never said those words. They also have some of the race cars from the Thailand Super Series on display, like some of these ridiculous Ferraris. Is that a Supra? Okay, so that is actually a Supra. How much is the Toyota Super here in Thailand? Oh, okay. Uh, now, yeah. this bike car yeah. is a 4.9 million. 4.9 million but, baht. Uh, already booked. Already sold. So, already sold. Over 50 million baht. So, how much is this in Thai baht? Uh, 150 million. 150 million baht. Yeah. Thanks. I'll go back to America and buy a Huracan Performante for that kind of money. It's a nice car, but the stripes are ugly. Okay, Honda guys, if you're a Honda guy, tell me what this is. What kind of Honda is that? Do you know? I didn't before I came here. Okay, that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Uh, the Bangkok Motor Show, as always, was amazing. Coming here to see the Senna in itself was totally worth it. But the quad turbo turbo diesel truck was amazing. Also, there's quite a few other cars I really enjoyed seeing. Plus, man, maybe the highlight of my day was that taxi. Wasn't that wild? But yeah, so I'm really enjoying making these videos. If you dig them, let me know. There's a possibility I might do, maybe I might do daily vlogs in December. One video every single day for the entire month of December. Can I do it? I don't know. We'll see.